I always knew that a smoothbore musket loaded with a single bore cartridge or with a backhand bore cartridge can be very effective at close ranges of 50 meters or so, but I never ever checked what happens at 100 meters. So today I'm going to try this out with comparing these guns. The reference at 50 and 100 meters will be my good old Bridesburg rifle musket, original rifle musket loaded with the mini -air cartridge. Then I'm going to fire at both distances the single ball cartridge loaded with 130 grains of 2F Swiss powder plus a 657 round ball. And I'm going to finish the test with the back and ball cartridge loaded with 130 grains of 2F Swiss powder, a 657 round ball, and three 30 caliber back shots. It will be a hard kicker for sure. I know that my rifle musket can handle the service charges, but I'm not going to torture my original Harper's Ferry musket you can see here. So I'm going to use a reproduction instead. It is made by Pedersoli and it is the copy of the Austrian 1798 musket, which is technically the same caliber as the Harper's Ferry and it has the same barrel length, so it is a good replacement for the show. So let's see now which projectile is more deadly. The single ball, the mini A ball or the back end ball at 50 and 100 meters. Let's hit the range now. My enemies are full man sized paper targets replicating the closed line formation of the Union soldiers. We can say they are a bit too close to each other, but they might be real close friends. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the stars of today's show. This is going to be a military test, so the loading method you see here is not safe, it's not considered safe in today's standards, but I'm reproducing the 19th century loading techniques, so this is something that you should not do on the range, so please do not copy this, this is not safe. Second, I will not be uh, wearing an eye protection, which is because uh, I can also reproduce the effect what the soldier felt when he fired the gun, so please do not do this, always wear eye protection and hearing protection when you're on the range. Let's start with the good old fashioned mini cartridges and the original Springfield. The distance is 50 meter and I will have one single shot for each target. I would be pretty amazed if I had any miss. I think we have three dead soldiers now. Let's see. Yes, no question at all. The rifle musket and the mini bullet, that's an accurate combo for sure. Hitting the very heart of the enemy at 50 meters is not a great challenge with the Springfield. In fact, this rifle is a tech driver, with the service load it's putting nearly all shots into the same hole at this distance. But let's see now why they thought that the Smoothbore musket can be just as good at short ranges. So, military style loading, not safe for modern shooting, but I have to reproduce it because I'm using original cartridges. That kicks. That definitely kicks. Three. 
It's three shots done. Let's check the results. So he's dead for sure. But I'm not sure about them. Three shots, three hits with the smoothbore as well. The group is larger for sure, but we still have three dead guys here. Let's check the fun factor. Let's check the backhand ball now. Loading the backhand ball cartridge needed more care and it was slower to ram down in the bore. In fact I had one or two occasions when the paper was torn and the back shots had to be loaded separately on the single ball. That's the best thing in muskets. You never know when it fires. Probably never. Okay, we need some fine adjustment. <laughs> now it will work. And it did. It's done. Oh, yeah. Here's one hit. One, two, three. I think this, this could be the first shot, or I don't really know. The red arrows mark the hits of the single balls. The blue arrows mark the hits of the back shots. The back and ball is deadly at 50 meters. Out of the 12 projectiles, only one or two missed the targets. So with only three shots, I scored at least 10 hits. So it is devastating, I agree. It's not accurate, but at short ranges this is devastating. Let's see the same job at 100 meters starting with the rifle musket and the mini ball. Now, now this should be the best of all, but we'll never know if we never try. hit the guy in the center. Let's check. Standard issue, rifle musket, standard issue, mini air ball, with service load, three shots, three kill, out of question, it's okay. The mini a bullets group was still really tight, indicating that a man at 100 meters is not a challenge for the rifle musket. Smoothbore musket, single ball cartridge. 100 meters. Quite delayed. That's three done. <laughs> I think these guys are going to survive. Of course, with some amputation. The single ball fired from the smoothbore was really inferior compared to the rifle musket.
Although I had three hits, they were only injuries, and I had no hits in the middle guy. The grouping was also very far from what I call accurate. So, ladies and gentlemen, back and ball fun at one of the hunters. It's done. My aiming point, point was somewhere here. You see all the three balls hit near the same place. Okay, two missed the soldiers, but maybe they hit the, the, the soldiers behind. From three shots I scored five hits on the soldiers, injuring all of them. This is clearly better than the effect of the single ball cartridge. So if I had to choose between the single ball and the back end ball cartridge, I would go for the later, even at 100 meters. But to be honest, I'd rather have the rifle musket and destroy the enemy at 200-300 yards. So maybe we, we were not killing the soldiers for sure, but, uh, but they are injured. They are injured at 100 meters, so at this range the back end ball is still effective from the smooth ball musket. It's much better than I thought. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a funny day for sure. My face still hurts, so it feels like I did something important today. Ladies and gentlemen, I agree that the mini ball and the rifle musket was the most accurate of all three at both distances, but I cannot say that the single ball cartridge and the back end ball cartridge fired from the smooth ball flintlock musket was not effective at 100 meters. In fact, they performed much, much better than I expected. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the Cap and Ball YouTube channel, and stay tuned for more black powder and historical shooting fun.